Welcome to Man vs Film. I have got a whole bunch of Blu-ray movies to show you that I've picked up uh, recently. There's actually a TV series in here as well, which is not something I buy too many of. Uh, let's just jump into these kind of random Blu-ray pickups. First up is The Running Man. Uh, I love it. I think it's a terrific movie. I think it has so much to say about the current political climate as well as being just a badass Schwarzenegger action movie with crazy one-liners, over-the-top action, and it's just endlessly watchable. This is one of my favourite kind of Schwarzenegger movies for just sheer pleasure. One I haven't seen before is Vanishing Point. I know nothing about this one at all. Uh, this was sent to me, so uh, something that I'm, I'm looking forward to checking out, but like I said, I can't even tell you a thing about it. Car getting chased by helicopters, according to the cover. That's about all I know. Uh, another one that was sent to me, Get Him to the Greek. Uh, Russell Brand is, is one of these people that I I find it hard to really stomach. Uh, this is one of the rare movies that I actually enjoyed that he was in. Uh, I kind of fitted to it because he, I, I don't know, just one of those rare performances where I actually liked it. Jonah Hull is pretty terrific and it was rather funny. Okay, TV series that I picked up. Uh, American Horror Story Apocalypse. I love the American Horror Story series. Um, I feel that the first three seasons were the strongest, although I do really enjoy five and six. Yes, five and six. Uh, but I, I've not seen Apocalypse. I know this mixes up season one and three, bringing a lot of the characters back, so I'm really curious about this. I normally wait for the blu-ray for this uh, to get into the series but the, the new season which is a slasher has got me really excited to just check it out beforehand picked this up off zoom.co.uk it was uh, £3.50 on sale uh, Shogun I remember hearing a lot about this uh, a long while ago I didn't think about picking it up until I saw the price and that just kind of impulse bought it almost there just a couple more to go so I picked up Eureka's recent release of uh, three films with Sammo Hung, Eastern Condors, The Iron Fisted Monk and The Magnificent Butcher. I really do like Sammo Hung uh, in the movies I've seen him in. Uh, I know he did a couple with Jackie Chan, I'm sure I saw them, uh, and even the Once Upon a Time in China and America I think he was in, he was probably the best part of that. I'm sure I've seen one of them, but for the life of me I just cannot remember, but I'm eager to check these ones out. Last but not least, is Arrow's edition of Old Boy. This was set to be just a monster edition of the movie. Unfortunately, something happened with the extras. They couldn't port them over. What were they going to do? They had announced it. So instead of getting a disc of extras material, they just decided to throw in the other two parts of the Vengeance trilogy, which is an outstanding offer for Arrow to do. So this is not just Old Boy, but Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance and Lady Vengeance as well. Of course, it has a 100-page book about Old Boy. It has this really cool uh, elevator packaging. Old Boy is one of those movies that I've only watched a couple of times, but I love it. I find it deeply affecting, and it's the only kind of thing that I want to watch every couple of years. It's been a few years since I watched it, so I'm really looking forward to getting into it. And the addition of the other two Vengeance trilogy movies is just outstanding work. On behalf of Arrow. I, I think this is a great package. It's an immense package, really thick, got a lot of extras with it as well. It's got the poster, it's got the book, it's got all these different kind of extras as well, like a whole disc worth of extras. Uh, a feature length 2016 doc documentary uh, about the film. I mean, I, I can't wait to delve into some of this stuff. Like I said, the movie is deeply affecting, fantastic. Uh, kind of a gateway movie for a lot of people into Korean or uh, films, uh, and I think it's well worth the legacy that it still has. There we have it. Movies I've picked up recently, kind of random ones at that. Uh, some that I'm looking forward to more than others. Some that I picked up just because of the price was ridiculously cheap. What have you picked up recently? Let me know in the comment box your thoughts on any of my films or what you've picked up, and I will see you next time on Man vs. Film.